He says he's an old friend of yours. An old friend? Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. Yes? Hey, 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 Amanda, Amanda, breathe, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, the same dream, sorry, sorry, it's okay, it's okay, come on, it's just a dream, okay, no, it's a nightmare and I'm sick of it. Listen, listen. He can't hurt you anymore. You're a fighter. And he's no match for you. I need you to always believe that. Hmm? What would I do without you in my life? Oh, come on. I'm the one who is lucky to have you. Please don't go. Uh... Don't go, stay with me. Amanda, I wish I do not have to go, but I don't have a choice. Everybody has a choice. You think I have not thought about it? I've thought about it several times, but you and I know the consequences. Court martial. And a serious jail time. Babe, babe, I'll come back to you, okay? I promise you. At the end of the month, we would have repelled the insurgents and taken over their stronghold. That way, the top brass can breathe easily. Then, I'll come home to you. It's not that easy, Jide. You make it sound so easy. It's war. Amanda, I promise you, I will do everything I can to stay alive. But while I'm away, I need you to do me a favor. Do all you can. Live a full life. Hey, listen, hey, hey, look at me, look at me. Promise me that no matter what happens, you will not cave. I want you to go. Fine. I don't know what I will do without you. Am For I? my life. I don't know how I will survive without you. I don't know. Amanda, you're a very strong woman. Yes. I just need you to start believing in yourself as much as I do. Hmm? Come. Don't go. <laughs> Come here. Everything will be fine. Okay. Come. Come here. It's okay. <sighs> okay. I can never get used to this. Me neither. I can't. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> so much. All right, off you go. You have a long trip ahead of you. 
Yeah, sure, that's true. But don't you keep me waiting for too long. I've got suitors, lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell those suitors that I've got guns. Okay. Big guns. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Miss Amanda Wigwe. I am Sergeant Jaffe Jafar from Defense Headquarters. I have a letter for you. Fresh Lieutenant Adey Farasin lived and died a gallant hero, battling against terrorism and securing our nation. Just like him, his entire platoon will be immortalized and remembered for their heroism. The deadly ambush which was carried out in the Kwaba Mkuta province of Sabandawa village at 22 hours took out one armored personnel carrier and three military rovers. Before help could arrive, the insurgents had fled. Now the <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Okay, I promise. <laughs> I'm stopped. <laughs> but you're just vibrating. <laughs> you are just vibrating. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop, yeah, stop, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. What is it? Did you just hear that? Did you, did you hear anything? Hear what? Shh, shh. Babe, I need to go. They need me. I need to go help. Hey, Jide, I need you. These people are not your problem anymore. I need you. But I have to, okay? Please, Jide, please, please don't go. Please don't leave me. I need you. Jide, please don't go. Jide, Jide, please come back. Jide, please come back. Jide, please. Jide, come back. Jide, please don't go. Jide, come back. Jide, come back. Jide, come back. Jide, come back, please. Are you okay? I miss him. I miss him so much. I miss Jude so much. I miss Jude so much. 
Andy, I know you do. And I also know he would hate to see you like this. Hmm? You've been locked up here for three weeks now. You need to try and get on with your life. You can't continue like this now. Can you at least try and eat something? Come, come, come. Come here. Sorry. Bring the food here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go there. Be done. Sorry. <laughs> Mandy, stop now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> See you like this and you know that. Hmm? Sit down. So he gave me some contacts of some of his former colleagues who he thinks are better suited for your situation. Not interested. And he's willing to pay for your sessions. I'm not interested. Okay? And look. I'm done with all of this therapy nonsense, okay? Okay. And please, don't try to talk me into it again. I will not. But if something happens, I just want you to... Nothing is going to happen. Okay. I have it under control. I will not cave. See, let me finish. If something happens, just know that I have tried. I've done my part as your friend. Mm. Eh? And I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But like I said, nothing is going to happen. Okay? Mandy. Okay. Madam, your bill is 3-4. Madam, your bill is 3-4. Hello, madam, your bill is 3-4. Madam, she's talking to you. Your bill is 3-4, ma'am. Um, hello? Excuse me? Hello? Um, are you okay? I'm fine. What do you want from me? I know this is your reaction, but... I'm fine. Look, are you sure you're really sure you're okay? I said I'm fine! Excuse me! Leave me alone! I'm fine! Let's see how far you need Should I throw? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 My own went further than yours. <laughs> I'm using my left hand, so don't judge me if it doesn't go far. Woo! <laughs> it went far. One you more. One... No, I did not cheat. You didn't go far. Let me <laughs> do one more, please. I love you so much. I don't know how I'm going to survive without you in my life. You're my world. I love you. I love you with everything inside of me. I breathe you, I smell you. <laughs> you make everything beautiful, you know. Thank you for doing this with me. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I like that. 
<laughs> okay, you seized all the balls, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're cheating. No, 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 I'm No. You're cheating. Okay, okay, you win. I agree. Champion. <laughs> you are champion. I know loss can take its toll, but this is getting out of hand and I'm worried. I don't even recognize you anymore. Well, apparently you're not alone. Mandy, you were stronger than this. No, I'm not. You think I like being miserable? Hmm? Look, I've tried to pick up the pieces, but no matter how hard I try, his thought keeps crippling me. You quit your job. You've lost a lot of weight. You don't go out. Mandy, I can't fold my arms and watch you fade away. I think you need to talk to someone. Someone? Yes, like a, a professional. Professional? Wait, you want me to see a shrink? You think I'm losing it? Is that what you think? You think I'm mental? You're not mental. So why would you suggest something like that? You do need to have a mental disorder before talking to... Before I am to only hurting. I am not insane. Then talk to someone. But I talk to you. Oh, Mandy, you know, I can't help you. I can cook for you, clean your house, do your laundry, but we both know that that's not what you need right now. Just promise me that you will think about it. Mandy. Mm -hmm. Darling, look at you. How's school? I'm done. I'm just waiting on my final year results. You're done? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. <laughs> Not too long ago, I remember changing your diapers and carrying you. <laughs> well, I guess that means you're like old. <laughs> Hi, your dad. It's fine. He's going to get in for me. Oh, okay. We'll be with you shortly. Okay. Speak of the devil. And if I am the devil, what does that make you? The devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Hmm. Young shall grow. <laughs> Meet my friend, the one I told you about. Hi. Hello. I feel like I've met you somewhere before, but I, I can't place it. Let me help you out. Supermarket parking lot two Wednesdays ago. Oh. Small world, eh? You. I, you I, this is awkward. You first. Okay. I shouldn't be here. So why are you? To get Dora off my back. I see. You don't look like a shrink. What does a shrink look like? I don't know. I guess I have this funny image of them in my head. Well, uh, for what it's worth, I'm not exactly a practicing psychotherapist anymore. At least I haven't been practicing since Emily died. Who is Emily? My wife. Oh. How long has it been? Ten years. I'm sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry for yours. Mm. 
So, if you're not practicing anymore, why did you agree to do this? Same reason as you are. To get Dora off my back. Uh. <laughs> but if it's any help, I... You don't have to see me as a doctor, so... Technically, you are not my patient. Just see me as a friend trying to help. Okay. Anyways, I'm just <sighs> excited. I can't believe I'm going back there tomorrow. Great. I'm just happy you're doing this. <laughs> Are you hungry? Mm. I'm going to make pasta and I'm making it with lots of love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will love it. <laughs> okay, now I'm hungry. Alright, right back. <laughs> Put your left hand, then use your right hand to hold the ball, take your thumb back a bit, then rest the ball here for support. Right? Okay. <laughs> To get inside. She started it. That's a lie. She hit me first, Mama. Hello? Who is your mother? I said who is your mother. Should I tell you? Your mother is the whore that refused to close her leg. And now I'm with the responsibility of raising you because I have a good heart. It's a blessing and a cross. I give you a place to sleep. I put food in your stomach. And now that you have eaten to your satisfaction, you turn around on yourself. Do you have this light cells idea that if you have inflated pains on yourself, no family will come to this place to, to have a second look at you? Not to talk about adopting you. Ah, oh, you ungrateful brat. I'm sorry, Mama. You should be sorry. Get out of here right now. Amanda, you come back here. Amanda, why did you hit her? She called me a witch. And so, you certainly act like one. From the very first time I set my eyes on you, Amanda, I know there was something different about you. As a baby, you almost drove me insane with your willing, and now you are not even worthy to give me peace. Amanda, do you know? I don't know what to do with you. If I have to talk now, your so called dad will come here. My, my little dove nonsense. Amanda, if I have my way, I will, I will, I will struggle you to death. You go on do some silly things. I'm watching you, Amanda. I'm watching my eyes on you. Amanda, I swear, 
the next couple that will come to this place and show his slightest interest in you, you are going with them. Because I have had enough of you in this house. Before I will commit what I will regret, you are going out of my house. Because I've had enough. I'm tired of having you here. Nonsense. Come sit on daddy's legs. Come. Come now. Stop crying. You know she's right, huh? She's so, so correct. You're not like the others. You're way special. You're so special. I knew that from the very first time I set my eyes on you. Don't worry. Daddy will take care of you, huh? It is well. Come on. Wipe your tears. You need not cry. Wipe your tears. Daddy will take care of you. Eh? You need not cry. Don't worry. Come, come to daddy. Loving, understanding, gentle. Sweet. He was perfect. How exactly has his absence made you feel? The same way her absence make you feel, I guess. This isn't about me but about you. I've had 10 years to heal. Are you? Am I what? Healed? Tell me about the incidents at the supermarket. What about that? Was it the first? I don't want to talk about that. But you have to. I mean, this Can is we talk about something else, please? Fine. What would you like to talk about? Your daughter. Darlene. I like her. I like her too. She's tough, I can tell. It's a facade. A facade? She was five when her mother died. I guess her way of dealing with things is to act tough. When Emily died, it broke me. But then I quickly realized that Emily had just lost a mother and there's no point saddling her with a broken parent. We... <laughs> we were planning on getting married. He was going to leave the military. Set up his own security outfit. We plan to get a bigger place. To start our own family. And... And... <laughs>
stand a place like say now you now you now you put it a lock in for this. Come on, come off, come on, come on, come off, come off for road. Mandy. Dora, you've got to believe me. I saw him. It was him. It couldn't have been. It was him. You were not there. Amanda. I saw him. Stop. You were not there. Please stop. Huh? I'm trying. I'm really trying. You know, I actually thought you were getting better. Gide is gone. You have to come to terms with that. I saw him. Huh? I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. He was the one I saw. <laughs> trying sis. I saw you there. I saw you. Why don't you want to believe me? I saw him. You were not there. I saw you. <laughs> It was Jide I saw, okay? I would recognize him anywhere. Stop looking at me like that. How am I looking at Like you? I'm delusional or something. I know what I'm saying. It was Jide I saw. Amanda. He was the one, I tell you. I saw him. All right. Okay. I'll buy it. So, when you saw him, did you approach him? I tried to. I did and, and, and I almost got knocked down by Vego and, and before I knew it, he was gone. Gone where? I don't know. I don't know. Amanda, you're telling me that he just disappeared into thin air. That's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying, Amanda? You know what? I don't even need you to believe me, okay? It's fine. I don't have to convince anybody because I know what I saw. It's a hard sell. <laughs> Amanda, if you started seeing dead people, then this is far more complicated than we thought. Tell me about your childhood. There's nothing to tell about my childhood. I had a normal childhood, a very normal childhood. You are an only child? Yes. And your parents, where were they? I never met my father or my mother. When I was two, my mother dropped me off at an orphanage and she left me there. What are you writing? Can I see it? I think you already know the answer to that question. Come on. You said it yourself. I am not your patient. Nice try. But no. Well, I already know what you have in there. You do? Yes. You think I have abandonment issues, don't you? I don't, okay? Look, I never met my mother and I do not have a picture of her. It doesn't really bother me, actually. I am not like one of those people who are hung up on reuniting with their father, who didn't want to have anything to do with them. To hell with him, and to hell with that. I'm sensing a lot of anger. Because I am hurting. I do not have abandonment issues. The episode at the supermarket, we are back at the supermarket again. I think it's vital to get to the root of the matter. Well, we already know what happened there. I lost the love of my life. Amanda, please help me out here. Fine. What do you want to know? The supermarket. Was that the first time? Yes. It was the first time in a supermarket. And? You know, I... 
I have this voice in my head. I have had it since when I was little. I never told anyone about it because everyone that I know thinks I'm crazy, so... But lately, the voice keeps getting louder and louder and it's making it impossible to ignore. By lately, you mean since Jide's demise? She's a vicious woman. How do you mean? She makes these demands of me. What kind of demands? The kind of demands that just make you want to hurt yourself, cause yourself a tremendous amount of pain. By making you hurt yourself? Yes. But I never gave in. And I will never give in. We were not married, so I don't think I'm entitled to any compensation from the government. That's not the reason I'm here, I'm afraid. Okay. Why are you here? We launched an investigation into the events surrounding the ambush. And we have reasons to believe it was foul play. Foul play? What exactly do you mean by foul play? Now, you see, um, attacks on us are really not unusual. But what befell us that day was really strange. Because okay. all casualties was recorded on our side and none on the other side. Now this gives us reason for alarm because it never and has never happened to us. Okay. Why are you telling me this? Our findings led us to believe that the insurgents were acting on a tip up. What? Wait, you think Jide... That man served his country diligently. He gave up his life for this country. And you think you can walk in here and accuse him of treachery? No one's accusing him of anything. I'm simply sharing with you the results of our findings. And mind you, this is not a witch hunt. I've paid visits to families of all the soldiers also. I think you should leave. Not until you answer a few questions. Fine, I'm listening. Good stuff. Did First Lieutenant G.D. Adiferasi exhibit any strange behavior the last time he came home? No. Did he complain about his job or express any need to leave his job? No. Did he have any awkward behavior or societal tendencies? No. Okay, that will be all for now. If I have any further investigation or any further results, I shall let you know. I prefer if you don't. I see myself out. Please. Thank you. It's nothing. I'm, I'm fine. No. It's something. What's wrong? What's bothering you? You can talk to me. I'm the only one left. What? The guys in my squad are near. All the ones I started out with. Dead. I don't even know if it's a miracle that I'm still alive. Fine. We were trained to be brave and courageous, but I don't want to go out like that. I don't want to die in one senseless war, all in the name of protecting my fatherland. Baby, 
you won't die. You will survive the storm. And then you will leave like we agreed, right? Hmm? What if I don't survive the next storm? Don't worry. You will. You will. So Dora asked you to come? No. You missed one of your sessions. I called your phone, it was switched off. Naturally, I was worried. What happened? An officer from the defense headquarters paid me a visit. What did you want? They believed someone tipped off the insurgent that ambushed GD squad. Did they mention him by name as a suspect? Not exactly, but they are insinuating it. Then there's nothing to worry about. I mean, they're probably just following due diligence. No. They are trying to tarnish his name after everything he's done for them. Those ungrateful bastards. Amanda, are you familiar with the term post-traumatic stress disorder? Jide didn't have PTSD. I'm not talking about Jide. La Pelle de Vide. Excuse me? It's French. I know it's French. What does it mean? The call of the void. Everyone goes through it at some point in their lives. Basically, it's an impulse to jump from great heights just to see whether one will survive it or impulses to slash one's wrists to know what it feels like to bleed out. Well, basically, it's an ongoing... There's an ongoing study on it, but um, most professionals in my field are of the opinion that people with suicidal tendencies tend to answer the call of the void. So, are we talking about PTSD or the call? Both. Just like schizophrenics and depressives, people who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder hear voices. These voices are impulses that are contained in the phenomena French call La Pelle du Vide. I'm not getting through to you, am I? Well, um, simply put, when one is overwhelmed by these impulses, as you may call it, voices, the person answers the call of the void. So what are you saying? I'm saying something happened in your childhood that you have suppressed for too long. Amanda? I think you should go. You're going to have to go through this and to get to the root of this, Amanda. The sessions have not yielded any fruits. Instead, you're using it to help yourself. Excuse me? Yes. Even the blind man can see the lost in your eyes. I see the way you look at me, doctor. I see it. You are clearly mistaken. Wait, is this your thing? Is this what you do? Damsels in distress? Is that what turns you on? Tell me, doctor. Hmm? I think I should take my leave. I think you should. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener and I give pretty good advice. Really? Try me. Okay. Uh, I have this friend who's in dire need of help and I'm in a position to give that help but she will not let me. Why is that? I think she does not trust me. And that bothers you? It does. What's more important? Getting her the help she desperately needs or getting her to trust you? Well, I cannot help her if she will not let me. <laughs> then recommend someone who can if her best interest is all that you truly care about. <laughs> Unless, of course, your interests are selfish. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dad, I know the friend you are referring to is Amanda. Look, I have lots of friends, you know. <laughs> Please, I see the way you look at her. And I am pretty sure she does too. Gosh, am I that obvious? <laughs> It's fine, Dad. You have been alone for over a decade. Nobody's going to judge you for being attracted to a woman. She doesn't want to talk to me. Well, from the little I've gathered, she's in a really bad place. She doesn't realize it yet, but she needs you. I was little, but I remember quite vividly what you were like before Mom's passing. She took a part of you with her, and there's a little chance of getting it back. I said, go for it. You have my blessings. Uh, young lady, no. Don't misunderstand me. I am not asking for your blessing. <laughs> you didn't have to. Come here. I'm hearing voices. I'm seeing things. I can't be here. I can't be around people. Please come and get me. No, I can't. I can't be here. Please. Hurry up, please. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. It is not real. It is not real. It is not real. It's not real. It is not real. It is not real. <laughs> okay, sit down. Let me get in. Okay. Thank you. I thought I had it under control, but the voice keeps getting louder and louder. I don't know how much more I can take. What exactly happened, Amanda? He... He made us Call him daddy.
know what I have done to deserve you. But I'm sure you'll be that the sorcerer spirit out of you today. Enough! Did you see what she has done? It's just plate, Rose. Really? Plate? You need not treat these children like slaves, man. Are you going to replace it? Or is this a mother that has abandoned and has replaced it? That's what I mean. How long will you continue to treat this child like a slave? As long as you're going to behave yourself. I'm, I'm about fed up with this, your attitude. I'm with this tired of her. It is not right. She will leave this house because I'm tired. She has to go. Rose, it's okay, please. It's okay. I will leave this house. You need you not continue to beat them like slaves, man. She's a, only a little girl. A little girl that... That's misbehaving. I will buy this place, Rose. Then buy it. I need you to buy it. And she's talking about the house today. You have to leave this place today. I have been having this girl and I'm tired of her. Our mother needs to go. She's not going anywhere. She is going. I promise you she will. And I tell you, if you go ahead with this, your plan, I'll report to the state. <laughs> you know very well as much as I do that she's not a ward of the state. But that doesn't mean that you should throw her to any non-entity that comes knocking on her door, does it? Mr. Ogona is a very responsible man. <laughs> Whose wife and daughters died under mysterious circumstances. Woman, have you gone mad? Come off it. Can we address this issue already? The fact that you are about to give our daughter out to a ritualist. <laughs> Your little dove or whatever you call her. She's not a child. What are you saying? <laughs> you think I don't see the way you look at her? The way you treat her? And that is because she's been through a lot. Really? They've all been through the same thing. She's not different from others. I wouldn't stand here and banter words with you. I have told you. Go tell that diabolical man of yours to cast his fishing net somewhere else. This is not the place for him. But she's going. I've had and I mean it. Enough. She's leaving. She is, she is leaving. What are you doing outside here, all by yourself? Are they teasing you again? No. Then what is it? Come on, you know you can tell me. Did you meet her? Which one? My mother. No, I never did. We had a knock on the door before we came out. She was gone. And she left me. Do you think she'll come back for me? Give me that to Have I been good to you, little girl? Yes. Yes. Have I treated you like a father would treat his daughter? You do. Yet you sit down here and cry over your mother that abandoned you. How do you think that would make me feel? I'm sorry, Dad. I wouldn't want to hear all this nonsense again. You hear me? Don't worry. I'll always take care of you. It is well. Let's go inside. Better now. Are you okay? Hope mosquitoes are not biting you.
Mother, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My husband and I will make sure that Amanda is well taken care of. I'm believing your word. I trust you. We've already had a discussion. I know that she'll be good with you. Thank you. Amanda's a good girl. Right. You enjoy her, <laughs> yes. She's brilliant. Right. And she's good with her chores. Aw. Amanda, give them a hug. Say your goodbyes, okay? Oh. <laughs> Guys, don't miss us so much. We'll come visit. Orphan child. That was kind of nice. I was his favorite. He never hid that fact. And that meant an extra piece of meat on my food. Less chores. Sweets and biscuits. The other kids were envious of me. One night, he came into my room. In the dead of night, he covered my mouth and <laughs> His wife, she was the owner of the orphanage. She caught him in the act. She looked at me, looked at me deeply as though I was filth. She didn't try to stop him. She didn't do anything, she didn't care. She turned around and went back to bed. Stop being his favorite. Life became a living hell for me. I was only 10 years old. I was 10 years old. I was only 10 years old. I was only 10. I was only 10 years old. <laughs> There's a strange looking guy outside. He says he's an old friend of yours. An old friend? Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. Is very real. Chidi, how are you here? My love, 
It's a long story. Well, I've got time. How are you here? We were ambushed. It was a massacre. But you survived. Belly. Chide, was it you? What? The insurgent, they acted on a tip-off. Was it you, Jide? How... How did you know that? Jide, was it you? W why would you even ask me that? Those men were like brothers to me. So, you thought I, I would just... No, no. Come on now, Amanda. I'm not a monster. Okay. While I was trying to escape the ambush, one of the men came at me with a dagger. So, I... Maneuvered him and. And what? I saw an opportunity and I used it. Chidi, don't you think I deserve a better explanation? Okay, I. I used the dagger to damage his face beyond recognition and, and then I switched close with him. So you faked your own death? Yes, so I can be with you. Um, I think you should give them the room. Why did you have to wait after a year to show your face? My love, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I had to come up with a proper exit strategy and, and that took some time. Jide. I mourned you. My life was a mess. My life was upside down when they told me you died. I mourned you. Am Amanda, believe me, this is the most difficult thing I've ever had to deal with all my life. But, but it paid off. Yes, I I'm here now. Finally, we get to be together forever like like old times, yes? What is it? What? Look around you, Judy. Is this my house? You, you thought I was dead? Yes, I get it. But Amanda, you can end this. You can end this, right? It's not that easy. What? Yes. I was a wreck. My life was a mess when I thought you were dead. You see that man over there? That man upstairs? He put me back together. He helped me. Yes, yes. Amanda, I will talk to him. I can talk to him man to man and he will understand. But I'm here. I'm, I'm here now. Okay? You are in love with him, aren't you? I thought you were dead. Then you, you have a decision to make. Just so you know, everything I did, I did it because of you. The thought of being together with you again kept me going.
Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is so unreal. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. This is, this is unreal. What are you going to do? But I don't know. Oh, Mandy, you've got to make a decision. You think I don't know that? So, what are you going to do now? I said I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't know. You said... So, you, you saw him? So, I'm just... You, you do... What do you think we can do? I don't know. You have got to fight for her. Darlene. You can't let her go back to him. Well, I can't stop her either. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You are in love with her. Well, so is he. Look, it's her decision to make, you know. So you're just going to fold your arms and watch her go? You finally have a chance at happiness. You can't let her go, Dad. Look, I have all the happiness I want. I have you. It's not the same and you know it. In the last couple of months she has been with us, I saw, I saw a different side of you that I have not seen before. And I loved it. Don't let her go, Dad. I'll be fine, okay? She's not here. I know that. What do you want? I've come to ask you to please leave her alone. Excuse me? Look, I appreciate everything you did for her while I was away. Thank you. But I'm back now to pick up from where you left off. Pick up from where you left off? Clearly you do not understand how severe her situation was. Your contrived and supposed demise drove her over the edge. I'm aware. I also know that Amanda is a very strong woman. We've weathered some storms together. I always stood by her and I will continue to. Amanda is fragile. And your sudden reappearance may just have had a retrogressive effect on her mental health. You don't know her like I do. You don't even understand her. You're just a rich old fool trying so hard to prey on her vulnerabilities. Please get off my property. This is one battle you will never win. Battle? You should know about battles. You have a history of fleeing from them. How dare you? The only reason I am not calling the defense headquarters is because of her. So don't push me, boy. Now get the hell off my property. Go on. He didn't have to threaten him. He's the one who showed up at my door. If anyone's supposed to be threatened, it should be me. Stop it. Stop it. Do you realize there's nowhere to substantiate his claims? Stop it. And who's to say he's not the one who taped off the insurgents? Jide, Mofe, stop it. This is beneath you. Everyone goes to war and comes back differently. I know, but I also know Jide. You mean you used to know him? Look, why are you making this difficult for me? Why? But it doesn't have to be. Look, Amanda will have such a good thing going on. 
Jide belongs in the past. What do you mean by your living? I've got people in Ghana that's willing to help put together my travel documents. There is nothing left for me here. Jide. But you have me, and I still love you. I always will love you. But Amanda, it's the truth. I've, I've lost everything. No, don't say that. Come with me. Let's leave here. Let's go elsewhere. Start afresh. Just the two of us. Amanda, we will finally get married and start a family just like we planned. I'll be leaving in the morning. I just came to say goodbye. Jeez. Goodbye, Amanda. I think he should go back to him. What? You heard me. But... He's the one you're in love with, dear Amanda. I've always known that the only reason he gave me a chance was because you thought I would fill the void in you. I can't. No one else can. But I need you. No, you don't, my darling. Jide is the only one who can fill that void in you and make you whole. I've been too selfish to admit that to myself. I owe you so much, Mufe. No. I owe you so much more, my darling. <laughs> You see, with Emily's passing, I thought I'd never be able to open my heart to anyone again. That is until you came along. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm so sorry. 